Welcome back, best of the best practitioners of love and light. Wink, wink. Gosh, I'm going to say first off, thank you to my sponsors and my supporters. This is a timeless energy reading, and I have no doubt in my mind that things are in the work. Works. Um, it's insane. <laughs> and those morsels are for reals, for reals. Um, I was just going to come back here and do, like, the banana grams portion, but oh my goodness. Like, I'm forced to give you the silent treatment. You gotta figure, you gotta, you gotta try some of this, like, <laughs> you gotta invest for sure. So, Jesus, Jesus came through again. <laughs> I don't even know how. What is going on? It's nutsoids. I mean, thank you, thank you, Spirit, thank you, Jesus, thank you, angels of love and light, thank you to my helpers from, like, going above and beyond, from above and beyond, you know, that, that's, that's, uh, to insane heights, you know, I just, I don't even know what to say, just bravo, encore, standing ovation, I, I, I don't know what to say, but again, these are things to like keep us going, you know, confirmation, um, to keep going at it. Um, these are, um, checkpoints that are just, dude, I don't even, where do I go from here? So I was intuitively guided to, um, select my dream interpretations type of deck. Oh my goodness. The box got all funked up, so... This is a special package right here. I had to, um, I had to, ah! This, this, um, handkerchief thing, bandana, is so old school. Um, it was like my very first one, basically. Okay, so this is, um, a dream deck, a dream interpretation deck. Okay, dream cards, there we go. Mm hmm. So I had to, like, figure out how to, I mean, it's like a two set deck. Um, because we're getting all kinds of messages with new decks that we haven't, I haven't used before, which is, um, we more recently used, um, the dream inspiration cards, I think, in inspirational cards, and, um, more often used, um, the ancestral tarot, like that's ancestral path tarot, that's been pulling in strong, um, unexpectedly, I just didn't even know, and then the feng shui tarot, I mean, <laughs> before, like, it was kind of like a culture shock in using those cards because, like, I, I'm not as, um, like, it was just, I haven't, if I have some kind of history in, in that ancestry from, you know, like, past lives or, you know, deep roots, um, I, I just, you know, it's just been a long time since we've reconnected. So, um, but like the easier that I like just drop those roadblocks and it's like, okay, let's just make sense out of this. When you, when you release those mental blocks of something perceived to be complicated, dude, for sure. You could, you could break down so many boundaries with that. Like for real, like in real life, outside of the cards, people that you don't even know the Karens, the like, the adversaries like makes it so much easier to bridge like to bridge gaps even with people just like seriously <sighs> anyway then um so um that was that was leading me to the shapeshifters um oracle and uh like i i just never really found a dis um uh, like it it just wasn't as easy for me to read. So I'm just going to give it a chance. I'm going to give it a whirl because we're like, I feel like it's organically we're, we're shape shifting. It's, it's become, um, almost innate, you know, it, it just comes with the territory. So, um, I feel like this is time to use this, you know, for a certain time period, like, I think my first or second years of, you know, starting out spirituality, I, I started gathering all of my resources, wanted to, like, pick from different, um, like, venues, and, um, just discovering, like, what can I use, um, to 
you know, prepare myself for when the time comes, like when I'm ready to do pick a card readings. And it took a, like to release that mental block seriously. It took a while. Um, and then, uh, just like within specialties, I just wanted to get, um, variants and, and so that time is like now done. Like I'm not exploring other, you know, I, I realized that I could pick up, I don't know, sticks or leaves or whatever and, and do divination that way. Um, I could, so I, I'm no longer in the, uh, well, I haven't been for a while. I haven't been in the search for, um, expanding the rest of my inventory and in anything. So like, bravo to that. Like, seriously, like it served its purpose and it's cool. Like I never, like, I don't have to go there again. I mean, if I want to treat myself into like something, then maybe I will. But right now, like I'm good. I'm covered. <laughs> like we're covered. <laughs> Um, so, um, instead of, um, uh, now depleting these decks that, like, I feel, like, a dissonance with, um, I'm using it as a challenge to, um, um work on readability, on syncing the energy, um, and, uh, yeah, I, I just feel like, it gives me another like love language in interpretations. So, um, I decided, you know, instead of like giving it, uh, what do you call it? An ultimatum, which I, you've seen me do before. <laughs> um, I'm more so now just like, okay, um, is it your time yet? And if not, like it, they will tell me when it's time to release them and, um, go on to the next, just as, um, how I received luckily, um, a few others who wait for the right owners to come, to come through. So, um, and then we're going to use the book of chaos, um, tarot, um, because there's, we're not going to lie about what's going on out there. There's, um, some things that need to be disciplined. And so we're going to look at that reality and, um, it's just an expansion on, um, like looking at the picture. I've, I've described this before. That kind of tarot is like, there's hidden pictures within the picture, hidden items within the picture. So, um, and I wouldn't say that it's abstract within, within its, um, illustration, but, um, more so, um, free flow within its, um, design. So, um, there's just, it's like the Rorschach, Rorschach, um, inkblot, except with illustration with lines, you know? So, um, that's very interesting. Um, okay. So let's, let's go at this. This is going to be the second half to what we just, <laughs> where we last left off. And then we're going to do the banana grams. Okay. Um, Yeah. So, um, I, I don't really know what else to say here, <laughs> but, uh, things are coming along just fine. Um, there are signs of, uh, things really like, <laughs> dude, I am so glad <laughs> that, um, this gives me, <sighs> it gives me that extra nudge that like, like that pat on the back of follow through and and believing in it, even when it really didn't feel so good, even when the odds look like really yucky. I know that um, they said like, oh, nobody's gonna come to save you, but it, it's it's not like the world has turned its back on you. Um, you realize um, that things come through. It's like there are things in the works, like behind the scenes, like you don't even realize it until like they come through when you really, really need it. And so it's not like nobody's going to come to save the day, like period. This is, um, like there are helpers, but you can't crutch on, on them. They're, they're just facilitators when it comes down to it. And, um, they're definitely like gifts, of course, or, um, but you know, like resources, um, like the, even the offering, the, um, just the exposure, all of that is super duper helpful. 
Um, the world is built so intricately um, that just everything has like impact. Not like, no, it it has impact. So <clears throat> we're gonna go with the dream inter um, the dream cards to enrich our lives. Okay, understand our dreams. Okay, let's see what kind of messaging we get from that. <laughs> what kind of stones do we have here? I, I don't even know, but it's okay. I think this is aventurine. I don't think it's jade, but I'm pretty sure it's like aventurine. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Mm -hmm. um, and then I don't know what these stones are. Like I like river stones, but they're grounding. I, I'm I'm good with um, the mystery stones. They're stones that you can skip, you know. So, all right. So, spirit, what do you want us to, to like focus on here? We're gonna pair it up with um, a smaller card, like its guiding card, um, after we pull from the other decks, because I want to be able to, for us to be intuitively guided, like drawn to certain insights before we move into the tarot, which is more direct, and the oracle, which is um, gives more wiggle room, and then go back to those um, identify, like those guiding cards for this. I feel like that's the way to go. And then we can do the bananagram. So I guess we're going to spend another hour together. Holy smokes. Let's do this. This is wonderful. Master number 22. Hmm. I think it's a master builder. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I originally felt like this was the fool card. I don't like um, the magician card because of the positioning, the, the, the stance. But it looks like um, a knight that has won over... It's adversaries. Oh my gosh. The blood spilleth over. Holy smokes. What the like in flames. This is um this is bad ales. We're gonna watch our language here again. Okay. Um Archangel Uriel. I looked it up again. Archangel Uriel was uh one of the angels that drove out like like the blasphemy in the Garden of Eden. Like, like, um, if you read about, um, the, um, like the merciless nature of like getting, um, the point across Archangel Uriel, like, I did not know that Uriel had it like, wow. Um, fearless and forthright. Most definitely. Oh, and a lot of this is, um, you know, um, we're killing the adversary. It's like we're empowered by, you know, not just the dragon and the phoenix energy, but, but Archangel Uriel is um, like we're embodying that light. We're, we're bestowed that light. And so we're definitely resourcing that. Um, but you see how like it's spilling over this TV. So uh, that tells me something about YouTube, like the social media or something of that sort um even was broadcasted that um the blood that's leaking over it's showing like how the adversaries are fake in invalids um they're um and that's how we're winning now i don't know if this directly um um uh, uh implies that um we're getting more exposure um within the, that broadcasting but definitely energetically speaking through word of mouth through um just random like clicks um people are finding their way to us so there definitely is exposure within this victory um but that's not what we're focused on we're focused on the victory we're focused on um what what we've accomplished it's no longer about the adversaries it's it's no longer um about the battle it's um more about um our like our follow through that um like this boundless um vibe of victory it's um 
and it's it's an, it's not even about being bloodthirsty but you know even though blood is shed here it's um kind of factual with how aggressive our opponents have become towards us so if someone is going to come in forceful at us we're going to point the sort of truth at them and the the work is going to organically happen as it you know that's oh my gosh yeah and you see this here also happening um there's some type of unintended sac something is happening while we're sleeping like some people are um um coming into our astral state and um uh trying to harm us bodily you know um they're coming in through like the spiritual eth etheric sense but they're trying to cause harm like bodily harm physical harm to us and um but then oh gosh i didn't even see that the dragon energy is also holding like a victory cup so they're watching what's happening here mm -hmm. interesting okay so there's wealth here um through ra the solar god mm -hmm. two four six eight it's no longer being stuck. Eight of Swords here. Four of Swords. Four of Swords is divided right here. We're determined to pierce the veil. Like, you know, this is the curtains up, right? So it automatically divides the picture into Four of Swords and Four of Swords. So um, we get um, the um, view. It automatically, like, instead of siphoning the energy, um, we are rationing it out okay the sentience we have respect for the sentience and um in instead of degrading it we are just fractioning it out okay um and that's like the smartest way to go when it comes to this because we're using all resources we're not um um yeah that, that's what it's what's happening here so um it's being very practical with the energy so four of swords you know, in essence, is um, recuperation. Yeah, recuperation for sure. For regaining, um, regaining health and wellness, um, and that is absolutely um, uh, in hybrid in some wealth. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, if you're going to like combine the words health and wealth, I mean health. What did I say? Shoot health and wellness um that's it's it's wealth right there so um taking some time some thought some rest in order to um recoll recollect ourselves in some mm -hmm. um interesting okay yeah and again it is the full card because look it's it's on that pinnacle um mm-hmm and just like so happy that we've reached the top. This is um, not just worthiness, but depiction of his personal glory. <laughs> yeah, this is excellent. And to have something moder modernized here on the foundation, the forefront, um, it says a lot about how much we overcame. Not just the constructs of... Um, um, I'm hearing domestic abuses here, like look within our localities, within our private mode, um, but also the constructs of um, um, that were um, programmed by the public. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, I mean, that's just amazing. This is this is insane. We see the golden egg right here again within the dragon's mouth. Um, that's nothing that you would suspect it to be. I mean, a dragon um breathes out flames, right? So um that egg has to be quite magical in order to um stay solid. Otherwise, it would automatically alchemize um within each breath. So it's like we're it's not just like everything that we touch turns to gold. 
or I can speak for myself. <laughs> um, but it's like everything we breathe life onto, our life force, our solar plexus chakra too, um, it's endowed with, you know, it's like gilded with gold because of um, our breath of life. It's in, we're infused. I mean, I can say this for myself. Like, it's not like anybody can claim this reading. That's, that's not how my readings are programmed. It's if you do the work, it applies to you. Okay? If, if I mean, it's not 100% exact because I'm the only one that's 100% present here. Um, yeah. So it, it's not like just because you're like listening in or whatever that it's like a hundred no i mean that that may be for other readers but that's not how how this flows like i'm not the only one on the sounding board when it comes to doing the readings like i have a firm partnership with the divine um in different sectors of sentience so it's it's not like i have i mean it's also even my higher self in play so yeah, that's all that I got to say, but yeah, okay. Is there anything else that you would like to um, add to that, Spirit? Um, let me see. Is there anything else here? Okay. Very cool. Like, it's all coming together. Like, it, it's insane. And and um, there's like blue streamers of ribbons on the on the trophy cup, so I I don't I forget what blue ribbon means when it comes to like the fair, um, when like there's a pie contest or like the biggest um, um, gourd contest, you know, like um, I think it's. It's, it's not an honorable mention because I think those are white ribbons, but the blue ribbon is like the finest, the um, most memorable. Um, just, you know, the standing ovation of all ribbons. I feel like there's red ribbon and then there's blue ribbon, but I think the blue ribbon is, I think, more prestigious. Oh my gosh, what? Okay, so the others fell on my foot. Maybe those are just for me to receive. I'll, I'm, so I'm going to leave that private. But here, um, this is um, 60. Okay, so 60 might mean something for you. Um, what do you want to say about this? It's like the lover's card and the fool card paired together. Um, that's the first time that I got that here. Um, but we see like a bunch of masks here. Um, I would say these are certain roles um, that are transient. Okay, so um, when I say mask, I'm not saying that they're fake, but um, they are roles that are played behind different eyes, be behind different souls um, or you know, um, representing different souls. Okay. So, um, we have, um, one depicted as a mother and then three as children of different ages. Um, interesting. Okay. So we have like there's play, there's learning how to crawl, there's um a mother um uh nursing or an infant, there's one that's um kind of backstabbed, like a child that's backstabbed, oh my gosh, laying flat on the floor. There's one that's being disciplined, like set off in the corner. Um yeah, so there's like these different scenes in life, um snapshots that we go through. Um learning how to play engaging in that learning how to crawl not walk but crawl like from the very basis um so like when we're looking at the snake energy snake um totem it, it's not a hundred percent about you know evil it's about um like learning how to navigate like whether or not you have legs um to be able to move across from one place to another, like at starting point. So like even people who um, have been bedridden for a long time or um, have gone through like, um, what is it? Um, 
uh, when you're, when you're asleep for a long time, like, what do you call it? Um, like unconscious or something. What do you call that? Uh, um, I keep saying, like, I keep hearing ammonia, but it's, uh, what is it called? Amnesia. Yeah, like you're... No, it's not even amnesia. I forget what it's called. Oh my goodness, mental block. But anyway, um, you, your muscles atrophy and you have to like relearn. Like your muscle memory has to like kick in. Um, so there's that, okay? And then there's a snapshot of being mothered, um, nursed, nurtured, etc. Having that bonding time. Okay, then there's a um, time where like the world betrays you as a child. And then there's that part where you are disciplined. Um, so, and then having like um, at the baseline, um, these items that, uh, that depict like some type of nostalgia, um, symbolism towards our youth. Okay, so we all have this like these roundabout snapshots. And it's, I think it's like, it's very grounding to be able to look at it in that way, um, that we all have a certain baseline of what we go through. Um, and that allows for a lot of, um, forgiveness, I would say, understanding and forgiveness. Okay. Um, so I think that's like the background vibe of how we get to here. Okay. Because once you have an appreciation for life, um, you you won't first stand you won't stand for anything less um um anything that um blatantly disrespects it but you also understand the origination point of where um the points are accentuated you know um that um made um um monster from a man or you know a being okay so um yeah, and that's why I think Archangel Uriel is so like mm, firm, and and Archangel Michael so firm in their delivery, mm, because um, they understand this, they they value it so much, and um, that what do you want to say about this? Now, I don't even know if you would call it merciless. It's more like... I don't know. I'm hearing like diplomatic. It's... You, you have to do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. yeah okay i'm just gonna leave it there okay <laughs> and then now we are moving to the oracle of the shapeshifters mm -hmm. i think we said we were going to move into um actually the book of chaos tarot first mm -hmm. I mean, that's how I worded it, but, like, that's not how I intended it to go, but, <laughs> yeah, okay, I told you. Okay. Alrighty, what have you got to say today? Excuse me. So, um, I, I thought about it and it's, and I think it's like every, I, I was, I was driving, um, like in transit and I, and I thought, you know, maybe cause like things monetize. Right. And, um, I, I don't, I don't know if like I'm being overprotective or, um, because like, it occurred to me that anytime I draw in Jesus energy, um, 
because of what was um channeled in about um throwing over like um like Jesus being very upset um that people disrespected his father's temple um the place of worship um through um profiting off of um transactions and exchanges monetary exchanges um and uh so i don't i don't know if i'm being overprotective or just being super duper cautious but like okay um spirit um angels of love and light um jesus okay um is that correct um that i'm that um it's going to be like pro bono or i'm not going like purposefully i'm not going i'm um i shouldn't um monetize um um anytime i call upon jesus energy just because it's like it's so sacred that i feel like like you don't you don't exploit you don't like f with um the great magician's energy like i could see it like i just started asking dude like it's like it's it's on point um so um you know let's just go ahead and ask for verification i just don't know if like i'm overdoing it or if that's something that isn't also intended for me to um um be gifted from you know um like is you tell me like jesus like you tell me what what you're good with like what is um okay um you just tell me okay uh like <laughs> And I'll listen, okay? Because I, I just want to make sure that I'm not, like, being, you know, that I'm not working on, like, fear-based mentality or just, like, you know, sometimes I get a little rigid. So, um, I, I don't know. Okay. Um, seven of Pentacles in reverse. No, they're saying th that I can I can harvest from this. It's okay. Are you sh are you sure? Like that's that's insane. This is like so obvious. It's straight up. Yeah, I mean, do you see? It's like a tree right there. They're no longer like on the ground or whatever. Um, like seeds to be planted. Like oh, it's sad because it's winter or whatever, and all the leaves have fallen and all the fruits have fallen, and now they're fermenting on the floor or whatever. And now they're going to just like kind of, um, be like the earth will swallow it up and um you know plant anew um but no they're saying like it's harvesting you can harvest off of this tina okay well thank you she's that's so sweet <laughs> i didn't i really didn't expect that i was i was uh i just had to i felt like i i had to check because i felt like it's like i just had to check myself okay is there anything else that you want to say off of that spirit i mean well hear it from jesus Okay, so this um, is two, five, <sighs> five of wands, um, muted, um, but it's also um, inverted. So yeah, um, it's just reaffirming that internal conflict that I personally had towards it um, and to also mute that energy because simultaneously it's, it's putting others in their place. Like that opponent energy that has like really tried to like bury me in um, and muffle um, my gifts, my talents, and even the prophecies that they, that they read. Um, the talented readers um, abuse their energy <laughs> abused their energy and withheld um certain information and um morphed it like talking down on me if not also um you know um energetically like stifling me like purposefully like i i remember it i i'm remembering specific people specific names etc and they know that they're they are getting their karma if not have already received it and that's why you know, they've kept a distance. Um, it's like, we're all growing here, you know, um, but they know. So, um, this is a matter of fact that it's just time to start harvesting. Like we've had the seven of pentacles, like re in reversal repetitively, um, in recent times. So this is like, wow, what? Okay. All right. 
Um, okay. Any, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> um, so sweet. It's like, what? I feel the tingles. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, is there anything else you want to say? I know that we left off on the progress report from before. And then the red flags, like things to be aware of. Um, I feel like this is like um this particular deck is very um useful within karmic learnings that is um it's how do I say it um it feels like these are higher learnings but also ancient um they're expansive um yeah they um challenge one's ability to see things differently um and i wouldn't say that like for me it's it, it wasn't uncomfortable working with this deck i mean i was a little i wouldn't say skeptical but i was um uh, i was a little worried because there it's like had some kind of dark depictions here um but once you realize like once you see that in real life like what that looks like you know um and then the purposeful um mm, snippets of it um like it becomes easier to read this deck um to be more open to its answers and um its guiding light um even its guiding shadows mm -hmm. um okay so what do you want to say is there anything else that you want to say? <laughs> um, like we, we, you can clarify even further upon that, or like something separate, but just like kind of make it obvious that it's either tailing upon that or, or um, something additional that you want to say. Okay, Jesus, what else do you want to say? We'll call upon the Fae, too. Like, Jesus is so magical. Like, I, I know, I, like, while I was regrouping, I realized that um, people are like, okay, like, that's kind of blasphemous that you're, you're, you know, you're pushing Jesus, but you won't put down your, pen, your, um, your pentagram. I keep thinking pentacle because pe that's, it's, it, that's what it depicts to me. Like, it's, it's symbology of five elements um, that we heavily re rely on. Um, and, and like, so like, I just, I remember hearing that, that, um, like energetically, um, people were just not sitting right with that. And then, um, what, did, what, what were we going to say about that? Jesus. Um, I forgot what we were going to say about that. Holy smokes. <laughs> Can you help me remember if it's, it's something like super important? Um, I forgot. Holy smokes. How did, how could I forget something like that? Okay. I'm told to look at the bottom of the deck. It's, it's the Empress in reverse. Um, okay. What's underneath that is, oh, three of swords in reverse. Okay. So you're saying like, Okay. This is a time where we're picking ourselves back up. Um, uh, we no longer have to look objectively as a hanged man, um, especially if we're prego, you know, to go into hangman status, like hanging upside down, to be able to look at something more objectively. It's like, you're going to hurt your neck, you know, like looking at it this way and that way, um, objectively at the um, three of swords energy. That, that's like, that's come and gone. And, um, we're no longer licking our wounds. We no longer have to really assess it. It's, it's now just about moving forward and moving on. And, um, I really like this energy because, um, I didn't realize that there were like other, um, pockets within the baggage that I had. I, I thought I emptied the suitcases. Um, but apparently there were other like hidden pockets, um, of energy. So it's, when we look at back at that, um, Mm. it's um it, it's just clean it's really tidying things up you know um yeah is there any i oh, gosh it, it's kind of bothering me that i about the whole pentagram 
thing and and Jesus like I, I don't know <laughs> maybe I'm not supposed to say anything but okay page of wands in reverse yeah tying up loose ends okay um hmm <laughs> yeah it's about follow through I mean that's that's dominantly um what's been going on here and then seven of swords um this is naturally what's occurring when we tie up loose ends we're releasing the deceit um because internally like those internal pockets that we forgot about um initially um that's why it's important not to like just breeze right through something like rush something um so that we can be thorough about mm, um about what we've let go that there's no hidden pandora's box energy there um so f tying up loose yeah so um the follow through is also um reaffirming to ourselves the the trust the belief the confidence um that we're um being um thorough um with what we've started mm -hmm. yeah so maybe i don't need to start making like new videos maybe i should tap into my old energy videos like I feel like that that might be something to work on. I thought I was going to use it for like an archive for later. Um, but I feel like it's an important demonstration to all, to others, to not be shamed, like ashamed um, of what the process looked like before. And we might be seeing like repeating patterns. Mm but i i feel like that is important so that's my that might be something that i will be doing instead of putting out um new content and yeah i feel like that because we've already shown like what we can do um but to take pride in how we got there um what the journey looked like and those discoveries i, I mean it's just it's a fuller appreciation of self so coming full circle follow through we're releasing the deceit on the outskirts you yeah. know that's just naturally occurring okay 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 so um that's that's part of letting go mm-hmm also letting loose okay open up to seven of cups okay so it's opening up to um other options mm -hmm. also looking at our options when we feel kind of like cornered like this is downtime what else are we supposed to do like nobody gave me a job offer yet nobody is like given you know that uh, like okay let's speak more positively towards this but it's like um when when it looks like um, the path has become more narrow um, to like the point of almost like a dead end, um, like a needle of an eye or an <laughs> eye of a needle, excuse me. Um, it's like um, this portal that almost starburst open into a realm of possibilities so um hmm interesting okay um page of swords in reverse interesting right behind hmm i feel like the page of swords in reverse here right behind the ace of cups in reverse it's like we have undercover energy now. Like we know we're winners, but now that it's like there's undercover, what do you call it? It's like secret studies. I think that's what's happening here. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Okay. So secret studies. Huh. Okay. 
Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm supposed to leave it at that, okay? Um, the Shapeshifters Tarot, or Oracle, okay? Oracle of the Shapeshifters. Okay, what's going on here? Okay. Jesus, what do you want me to select from here to talk about? What, um, hmm. progress report, okay? All right, the Mermaid of Immersion pronounced accentuated complete commitment holy <laughs> jesus christ holy smokes you're on fire um, and that's master number 44 like the mermaid of immersion complete commitment that one, that's one, what how are you even doing this focus 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 are you doing this bottom of the deck fiona and the unicorn a, a gift of sacred sight inverted <laughs> this is quiet energy that's that's okay that's that's excellent i don't i have the chills and that's i'm hearing expensive i don't even know like why is this oh whoops i forgot that was in there okay okay let me just put that back here. Okay. Okay. That's that's crazy. <laughs> it's like, how do you even? Okay. Mermaid of Immersion. Ma uh, master number 44. Is that the last one too? Oh my gosh. It's a, oh no, there's 45 here. Okay. Um, that's insane. We're just bravo. Bravo, Jesus. Like, how do you even do it? How? <laughs> okay. All right. About the mermaid of immersions. Uh, mermaids do not live only on the surface. They live in the beneath, underneath what you see taking place. Yeah. You have been a surface dweller too long, and you are being asked to immerse yourself in a strange world beneath the waves. Um, here you will discover great treasures. See the mermaid's necklace brimming with wisdom, which will be yours too, and the delicate, strong, bright clownfish um, swimming about her, who are now able to clear you of toxins, to assist you to see your true beauty, and to transmute the poisonous limitations you have set on yourself on your very reality. Oh my gosh, what? What? I don't even see her. I don't see her necklace. What is she? What are they talking about? What necklace? Am I seeing? Bringing me with wisdom. What necklace? What are you talking about? What necklace? I don't see a necklace. Am I going nutsoids here? I don't know. But, okay. There's a necklace. Shh. Okay. Um, insane. Okay. Um, you will no longer need to concern yourself with so much protection. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, as the changes you are making will make you virtually invisible to troubles and harmful others who once would disturb you. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my goodness. Wait, this is insane. <laughs> to troubles and harmful others ones who would disturb you this immersion is the road to real rebirth oh my gosh yeah because we saw the bottom of the deck was the empress in reverse all will change and you will finally be fully alive to your true self that's insane okay the mermaid of immersion speaks it has come time to completely involve yourself you have been holding back, only going so far with a new project or with a commitment to yourself. Always pulling back at the last moment from taking the step. That is so true. Because I still find myself applying to other jobs because like just in case, just in case, I need to make like some kind of income because like no donations have come. Like I like I come in just yet. Like I I haven't landed that break just yet. And like if I could just have that like from from the you know outer world but it's like dude that like what they're reading is like 
<laughs> so like I'm I'm like halfway there like I'm still doing this thing um I'm still going through like one foot in front of the other like you know motioning through those steps but at the same time I still haven't made that firm commitment to like withdraw from applying to any other jobs um like there's like an in between there like what I've already invested in if that comes to fruition then it comes to fruition if I if I you know get re recommended for a job then cool but like my energy, like, they want me to make the firm decision of not casting out the line so much. I've casted out the line hundreds of times, and that is enough. Even including, like, with what I'm doing here, I've casted out the line, gosh, over 600 times. So, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> and, um, you know, it would reach into the thousands if you look at, like, in some with my other contributions. And and so, like, let's focus on moving, like, getting serious about this stuff. Okay, Tina? Um, you gotta trust. <laughs> because, like, I've already, like, tasted the morsels. Like, what? Okay. Okay. You're holding apart of yourself back, watching, judging, and always assessing whether this is right or wrong. Oh, yeah. You are surrounding yourself with what you consider to be protection and what humans call buffer zones. <laughs> I almost snorted. You almost heard that, right? And you claim you want change. <laughs> you claim you wish to understand. You claim you wish to have this done. If this is true, then the time has come to take a deep breath, dive off the edge of the cliff, and immerse yourself fully in the waters of change. Go underneath to the truth of what has happened and surround yourself only with what supports that change. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay. The time has come to remove the buffer zones and to have enough faith in your friendships and family relations to know that if they are really meant to be, or if they are meant to be, they will be there when you return. Hmm. You need not take this plunge. It is not compulsory, but it is what you have claimed you wanted. Come with me. I will teach you how to breathe underwater. And then finally, the truth that you have that um, I'm sorry, the truth you have claimed you have been reaching for will be yours. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the implication here is that there may be some oppositions and negative feedback when it comes to other others' um, limitations kind of projecting onto our own, kind of magnifying that. So um, to stay true to yourself, okay? All right, okay, okay, like <laughs> All right. Okay. This has been a time of always planning, not doing, procrastinating and making excuses for holdups, reasoning um, to not go ahead, choosing to live on land of excuses and old ways. When the deeper underneath is calling for you, your soul has asked you to do this, but you continually waste your time and fritter it away. It is precious. It is bright. It is good. This is different from enjoyment. This is fear masquerading. There are poisons and toxins, old thoughts and patterns that you have maintained. Break free. Dive in. Dive deep. Be surrounded by and belong to the beauty you wish to become. When you return to land, everything will have changed in beautiful ways. You know what that energy is? That's the Eight of Cups in reversal. Coming back to reality, um, but um, enlightened. Like that's. It's not like ignorance is bliss. And that's the reason why you left. This is um, comprehending the totality of it and absolutely not losing your place in within that realm. Okay, okay. let's read 29, Fiona and the Unicorn. Okay. Dude, I just like... <laughs> Okay, the gift of sacred light. Let's just go look at the divination portion, okay? While your third eye is opening, it may be helpful to work with the crystal. 
to work outside with the phase in their natural habitat and to experience pure and beautiful visions to balance the other stranger and sometimes harsh images you will see. Take time to see into nature and this opening will not be traumatic. It may be strange and difficult at times, but it will become natural and pleasurable. And what you see with your spirit eye will be pleasant for you to experience. A great many visions will come to you. Stay hydrated and keep a record of what you see. You may begin to create spirit paintings, capturing these spirit visions with pen, color, and canvas. You are not losing your mind. You have been gifted with sacred sight. Pen, color, and canvas. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, um, okay, okay, I'm going to bookmark this one um, to read upon the rest later, you know, in my own private time. Ah. Your imaginary friend. Childhood treasures resurface. And we have the dragon spirit totem and the butterfly right there. I accidentally picked it up with this card. but Okay, so I guess that is for me as well. Okay. Um, exclusively. Okay, so now it is looking at these um, directional cards. Okay, so we have, I think, 40 or 22. Okay. So 22, okay, winning, <laughs> it is winning, gosh, central image, heroic, with this bloodied sword he attains the victory, overcoming, per perfecting, and success, winning is committing to overcome all difficulties which stand in the way, no battle is easy, nor it is meant to be, yet battle we must, take your sword in hand, unsheathe it from this scabbard of love, and cut with maximum strength, now is not the time to nurture or accept, powerful action has its purpose in breaking through obstacles after the blood and the flames count your losses and your successes and move on wipe the blade of intention clean and return it to its place of containing rest your task is to create passion in your life by committing all your energies holy smokes and values in this in the major struggle you have before you what this is insane what Okay, fine. <laughs> Secondary images, okay. Blazing sun, source greatness. The sun gives out its bright light. Only those living to the fullest are worthy of life. Make as many decisions as possible. Okay. Coins, hopes, and potential. That's what its symbology is. The seeker receives gold. The trouble with gambling is not losing, but not aspiring to more than you hope for. Discard false hopes and seek your true potential. What? This is insane. Holy, what? Okay. So, um, continuing on, killing, decisiveness and power. She slays her attacker with his own knife. <laughs> this is she. This is like, uh, what do you call it? Um, Joan of Arc energy, for sure. Those unwilling to use the power will themselves be used powerfully. Avoid being a victim by challenging yourself and others. <laughs> We're working on it. We're doing it. Fame, effectiveness, um, self-affirmation. The world watches and listens to a new voice. Oh, it's Mac. That's awesome. I like it. I like it. Okay. No one knows your worth unless you tell them. State your own case. For what you are doing i think i think we're doing that actively yeah okay so just they're saying keep keep it going keep it coming okay dragon guarding and values the dragon guards the precious stone risking all um we find all risking little we lose all oh <laughs> choose what is greater than yourself in order to act okay trophy talent and discipline the seeker is acknowledged for his achievement. <laughs> Excellent. Losses are the price we pay for each success. Okay, so they're validating um, within its own sentience. 
Um, they're just tokens for the prize that we win. Oh, that sounds a little aloof, but, uh, you know. Hmm. Um, I'm positioning it in a way that they're investments. Like, I'm just rewording it as they're investments towards success. Because um, they're not really losses, really. Mm -hmm. Okay, justify the goal with correct action on the way. Okay, climber. I didn't see a climber. Oh, yeah. Okay, climber. Achievement and risk-taking. The seeker has climbed the high mountain. To go for the best, accept the worst, and deal with the inevitable. I like that. I like that. Fine. Sure. <laughs> Focus on the attainable, not the unattainable. Very nice. And then leader, we have here self-knowledge and certainty. And certainty. Okay. The flock follows the master navigator. The greatest responsibility is being able. Come to terms with your abilities. Anything else is waste. You do what you can. Yeah, that's okay. So this is a great progress report here. I don't, where is that? Um, one about the TV. Oh, I guess that's fame. Um, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So then the next one was 60. I like it. Okay, the child. Mm-hmm. Baby. Oh, that's excellent because we have the... Okay. All right. It's all right. Divinity, newness, and knowing. Um, the eternal face greets us in the newborn. Many of us are wiser at birth than as we grow up. <laughs> That's funny. The work of consciousness is to reclaim what has been lost. The essential is relating to a baby. In relating to a baby is the realization the whole of a person's life has been condensed into an awe-aspiring moment. The potential for destiny to unfold. Okay. Your task is to see births everywhere by slowing down enough to become conscious of what is happening at the moment. That's very interesting. Okay. Okay. So there's wounded child, suffering vulnerability and release. So the child's tearful face brings out brings us out of ourselves. Tears reach us and touch the wound inside. Tears are, are, are our vulnerability. The wounded child represents all the losses we did not deal with, blended into a core of unending pain, crying out for passionate release. Trust suffering as natural. Wholeness resides in the archetype, not in the avoidance of it. Okay. All right. Okay. Your task is to explore naturally and express whatever pain comes your way as a small ch as a small child might. It's personification here, okay? So the wondrous child, which is radiance, feelings, mystery. In her deep eyes, we see more than we could ever know. With wonder, we are compelled to know to acknowledge the living light. Never question it. She seeks things directly without learning correct responses and habitual ways. She teaches a knowing which comes from wonder, not knowledge. Mm, yeah, that's true. That's right. We learn from her by entering in without hesitation to whatever is asked of us. Your task is to let excitement guide you as you go where the energy is. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. Sorry. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to leave that there. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the whole child, creativity, openness, and sureness. Okay. She relates to you as a teacher. Wholeness from a child's view is doing it all totally in a balanced way. Excuse me. In a balanced way. Getting too identified with any one thing may help us specialize, but what is truly needed is an openness to whatever is needed to be creative in life. Let the child guide you to new things naturally expressed. Your task is to open yourself to whatever wants expression through you and create with it. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. So, um, um, 
there were um, some natural matches to the energy. Mm, uh, like, um, there were some details that I had missed, um, but that's good. We covered it. We were thorough. We were thorough. I love it. Okay. So now, now, now that we're about to lose our voice, just kidding. We're gonna go with bananagrams. Bananagrams twenty. Bananagrams twenty. Okay. We didn't. We didn't have very much here. So that's R. S F I G O. W C A O X O A E S I and I. Okay. So we have Sophie, hmm. but it's like S O F I E. <laughs> um, so C. Okay. We have sci fi. Somebody's into sci fi. Um, Crow. Hmm. Um, hmm. Woes, okay, somebody's pains. Um, Risa, um, Ace, mm, face, um, ow, um, grass, fairies, yeah, it's the fae here. Interesting. Okay. So, what did we have originally? We had... Um, caress? What? Um, dude. Okay. Sci-fi we had... Um, Ross, fairies, why would we have that? Mm, okay, um, scare, oh, scarecrow, huh, interesting, so scarecrow, um, if I only had a brain, you know, I think that's what it, or is it a heart? No, that's a tin man. It's the brain. Yeah. Huh. Somebody like, dude, somebody has like, mm, I don't know, is there energy. <laughs> um, the inner knowing, it's like second guessing that. It's like, um, the perception that we're made out of something that's barren, you know, fields that have been, um, like that can be easily repurposed into like, um, cattle feed, you know? So it's, um, like the dime a dozen energy that we were, um, led to believe at some point. So, um, I really feel like there's, um, definitely something that we should look at scare. Oh, um, I can't, I can't because it's either one. Um, caress, um, cogs, cost of goods sold. Um, Icarus? No, there's no you here. Okay. Uh, Okay, well, I'm just going to put fairies here because it's like 
letting me spell out the whole thing instead of fae. So, fairy is important here. Um, cargo? I think, like, precious cargo? Mm-hmm. Looking at what we carry. Mm -hmm. It's being resourceful. Yeah, what we carry with us. Yeah, definitely. Mm, yeah, okay. Um, <gasps> okay. Mm. Wise, a word to the wise, yes. Mm. Yeah, I think it's like looking at our energy. Um, um, like this precious cargo, definitely. Um, our energetics, um, so that, you know, like as, um, assets to invest in, mm -hmm. Fox, um, hmm, okay, so we have the Fox spirit totem, it's like being Lie is it? Um, foxes are clever within its um maneuvering. Um, following wise, I feel like that fits correctly. Um, some of you are maybe from the OC. So, okay, okay, I get it now. Okay, um, so looking at the these masks, um, as like different roles, how like the eyes are kind of blank but open. Um, it's that transitioning force of like the roles that we play as well as others. And um that comprehensive like learning uh bah, 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 bah. but let, let me just show you here. So because it's you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So looking at that, it's like keeping the eyes open, you see? Um not just fixating on like the fox being like um like the wolf of the pack um like not demon demonizing this um spirit totem um but there's transitional um value value within that um so we've got that there um i don't know so we have fairies that's one that's um the energy of like magicians um within it's like um a very um like indisputable but also um like um stealthy type of um realm okay um and then two is um i think cargo right so that's um the high priestess um that's higher learning that's um knowing better so having like really taking a look at, um, when we take inventory that, um, it's, it's definitely to our benefit to carry lightly, especially when we, um, are encountering, um, you know, these kind of, um, um, navigating through that energy. Okay. Um, finding success in that. And yeah. Okay, so that's to the applications of higher learning, cargo, for sure, um, within its most practical form on a daily. Mm -hmm. So um, then three is wise, and um, that's um, that would be the empress for number three on the major arcana. It's looking at, um, you know, the empress like has to also manage a kingdom, um, and it's... Uh, mm, uh, facilitating its um, fertility in in whole, so um, it's it's about wise investments for sure, mm -hmm. and being in close connection um, with um, magic as well as the higher learning, the higher knowing. Okay, four is fox, so that's um, the emperor energy. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, very stealth. Um, and, uh, and, and pinpointing, um, like the end goal. Mm -hmm. And then five is keeping your eyes open. That's a uh, hierophant energy. Um, understanding your role and acting um, accordingly um, to its divine purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that is it. Um, I don't know what else to say about my app. Um, is there any other light that you want to shed on 22? I, I don't, I don't even think so. So, oh gosh, 22 was, um, part of the archetypal index. Let me see here. Heroic. Okay. The basic archetype of the positive that which enhances and creates similarity or endurance through time. Those things are considered positive, which enhance the wholeness of being of a being or entity. Those things are considered negative, which destroy the wholeness of a being or entity. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like it. And then 60 was part of the grouping of <laughs> what do you want to say? Is it, is it in here? It's not showing. <laughs> 60 is... Come on. Show me. Show me what's going on here. It is 60, right? I guess it doesn't go up to that. That's weird. But it showed personification, I think. 